we're going to do a doctor's bag because we've had many requests for doctor's bags. I guess a lot of you know plenty of doctors out there. Uh, so what we're going to do here, um, or what I've done first to see what a doctor's bag looks like, um, if you want you know, an old-fashioned type looking one, what you can do is go to one of the search engines, um, for example, Google. You can go to Google, and on there they have these little different categories, and if you hit images, and then you type in doctor's bag or old-fashioned doctor's bag, um, this is one of the images that came up. Okay, so this is an old black bag. You can see that it's kind of all um, roughed up. And this one is a little bit more uh, square here, here at the bottom and then kind of goes in a little bit here on the sides. Um, so there's one. And then here's one that I did uh, for a plastic surgeon like a year or two ago. And it wasn't quite as square, but I mean, pretty much you know it's a doctor's bag still. Uh, did it in chocolate fondant. And like I said, it's for a plastic surgeon, so there's actually these little things say uh, Restylin on them there and he was also his office was right by the beach so we put it the doctor's bag in sand with some chocolate seashells um, around it and you can see the needles and things so I thought we'd just kind of do maybe a combination of the two or you know um, uh, gonna use chocolate fondant you could use black fondant if you wanted to, to be a black bag uh, but we're going to go with the chocolate. So what I have first are sheet cakes. Okay, now um, some of you know that I bake my sheet cakes in just regular uh, like sheet pans like this. So I get these at, um, you can get them at either restaurant supply store or out here on the West Coast. We have uh, Smart and Vinyl. You can get them there or you can get them at Sam's Club. And they come in this size and they come in the larger full sheet, which I use because I have a, a professional oven that um, the big trays fit into. Uh, you home bakers would have to use the smaller ones, most of you, because the big one wouldn't fit in your in your regular oven. Or just use your regular half sheet pan to bake your um, cakes, and then your cakes would be about two inches high. So mine end up being, because I bake them this way, about one inch high. So if this was, if I did it in this pan right here, what I do is, because the, the edges are rounded here, so what I do is I actually just cut my edges straight here, 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 and then get rid of those crusts because they would be at an angle. And then I have this piece of cake. So this could end up being uh, a quarter sheet cake. If I cut it in half, put filling in, put this one on top, it'd be a normal quarter sheet cake size. If I wanted a half sheet, then I would bake two of these, put one on top of each other, then it'd be a half sheet. Okay, so for this cake, um, I pretty much needed this half sheet here, and then I have another um, half of it. Let's see, so that's another half there. And what I want to do is first uh, take it out of the pan here. And when I uh, bake these, what I do is I put some pan grease around the edge of the pan, and I usually do an X in the center with the pan grease also. And then I put a piece of, see this right here, this is just parchment paper. So I put that down at the bottom of the pan. It doesn't come up the sides. It just goes on the bottom of the pan. And then I put my batter in there and bake it. And then it just, um, then when I cut the edges, I can just pull the whole cake right out because it has the parchment paper under it. Okay, so it makes it nice and easy. So even if you're using your regular two inch pans, you could still do the same thing and your cakes will pop out really easily. All right, so I want this to be in about uh, three sections. So I believe it's about almost, uh, almost 16 inches, 12, yeah, about 16 inches this way. So for that, let's see, I'll do, um, I'll actually just cut it into five, five inch pieces. So let's see, I'm gonna do five here. Okay, and it has the paper there underneath, so if I pick it up a bit, then I can kind of cut some of that paper, so I don't want to cut the counter. Okay, and then we'll move over and do about another five. And then this one might be a little bit, a little wider, and I'll just use that for the bottom piece. 